Hi, this is Dallas Fox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Treasures of the Savage Frontier. We've just completed that battle against the orc who is leading the Ice Hounds in what looked like maybe a barracks room or something in Fireshire. We actually had to replay the section of the game from the last time we saved in Neverwinter because I was so tired last night I forgot to save after the battle. But anyway, searching an orc, Tomas says, look at this! And holds up a note scrawled on brown paper. It reads, find out who's giving orders! Signed, Gorg. Gee, I'm surprised the orc's that literate. Okay, since we have cleared this room, it should be able to, it should be safe to rest in this room. So we're going to try that. Yeah. If we go down any of those mine shafts, it's going to be a lot harder to rest down in the mines, but at least within Fireshire itself, we can rest any place w that we've cleared or else in that entrance hallway. So we're going to leave this room. Okay, there's nothing further we need to investigate further south down this hallway, so we're going to turn back north and go into the next row of, I guess, barracks, whatever. And there should be something more in here. Like all the rest, this is just a small cubicle in other miners' quarters. Unlike all the rest, this one is occupied. Oh. And this time, it's, it's occupied by Bigfoot. Or Abominable Snowman, or... Yeti for short. Yeah, we need to have her switch to her melee weapon. And ooh, Yeti Chiefs. I'm going to check really quick to see if there's anything in particular I need to remember about them. They're, yeah, just like abominable snowmen, big, strong, and fierce, attack with teeth and claws, may grab and squeeze a character for additional damage e each turn, just like owlbears. Um, fireballs are very effective. Of course, in this room we don't have room for that. Watch out for the Grand Yeti, their leader. His age is so great, he's developed a resistance to magic, so some fireballs may fail. <coughs> so... I want to take these out quickly. Fire attacks work great, although we don't have room for fire attacks here. Um, I bet fire touch would work really well if we had thought to cast that. Okay, staking clouds work. Okay. Switching him to his melee weapon. Okay, we, can, we might be able to do... Stinking Cloud. Oh, and there's an Orc Chief. Yeah. Orc 
close enough to do a stinking cloud that would reach in. Okay. Yeah, it looks like what treasure we found after the battle in the other miner's cubicle was basically whatever the orc chief had. still need to remember to either make room for the bow in Posita's inventory or give her her many magic arrows to somebody else. Since she is currently without a bow. Two yetis down, and then a yeti and an orc chief left. Okay, it looks like the darts aren't going to have enough range to reach that last orc. So he's going to have to switch to his bow. Oh, come on. Just gonna keep peppering that orc chief with arrows and sling bullets until it falls down. Okay, that should be the end of the battle there. Just a little bit of platinum and basically the same gear that we found in the other room. Helm, <sighs> chainmail, and battle axe. Well, I don't know if there's any place where we can sell these things.
that. Okay. <sighs> oh, I don't think we're going to worry about the rest. On one of the orcs, the party finds a crudely scrawled note that reads, Follow the monsters. Find out what's going on. Who's in command? In those big dumb fur claws. Signed, Gog. Okay. Well, this Gog seems to be fairly literate for an orc. Maybe he's only a half orc. Okay. We're all done exploring that area. Now, let's... Okay, there's nothing to the south, so we want to go back out to the north. And I think we might as well go back out the way we came in. So I kind of want to finish exploring this level before I head down into the mines. You enter the great central plaza of Fireshear. A huge polished copper statue of a regal looking dwarf dominates the center of this square. Okay. A sign above this door says Barrett and Sons, General Equipment. No shaft is right without tools from Barrett. Pick shovels, clothing boots, and all manner of general goods are scattered everywhere in this shop. When you enter, this room appeared empty, but now it was... Wait! I hear someone or something breathing? Let's draw weapons. You ready yourself for battle, but Hosita says, Now I hear a voice! Everyone freezes. From behind a pile of tables tossed against a wall, a weak voice whispers, Help! The broken furniture is pulled aside to reveal a cowering but unhurt dwarf. Once he realizes you won't hurt him, he tells his story, and you write it in, journal, in your journal as Entry 81. I'm Barright. Did you see my sign? My fine sign? It's the finest sign of Lola Fireshire, don't you think? Tears rolled down his cheeks. They killed my three apprentices, those monsters. Did I help? No, I ran away. They didn't find me. They killed my apprentices. They killed them all. I ran away. They killed... Did you see my sign? Isn't it lovely? No one else in fire here was such a sign so lovely. He trailed off into repetitive gibberish, and reluctantly we left the trembling figure and moved on. <sighs> Sounds like he really lost it. Oh, maybe he'll get it back together once we get rid of the party is responsible for taking out his poor apprentices. I wonder what's in this room. A steel-framed copper sign lies face down on the ground in front of this door. Eladan picks it up and reads out loud, the Fire Shear Inn. The inn's common room is filled with broken tables and chairs. Look, says over here, behind the bars. None of the spirits have been touched. Oh. Must have been monsters because no humans, dwarves, or humanoids would have 
left the booze unopened. Okay. And let's take a look at... A copper plate above this door reads, Rug Baths Fine Metalworks. We sell dwarven plate mail, best in all the realms. Broken weapons, armor, and shields are strewn in every corner of this shop. Silver lettering on this door reads, Shrine of Dumathane. Welcome, miners all. The furniture in this shrine has been destroyed and no one remains within these walls. Strangely, the rich tapestries in the walls and silver statues in the altar are untouched. Yeah, it's got to be monsters. They didn't loot. They trashed, but they didn't loot. Okay. Okay, now looks like the one area on the on this level of fire sure that we haven't been to yet is probably about the last area we want to deal with, I think. Well, it's, or maybe not. Well, we still have to find him for the city leaders, so maybe we should do that first. So, let's get back out, and let's see where we'll end up. Well, we could start with the nearest mine shaft, which I think might be this one. Okay, so we have Bigfoot and his furball friends. A wide, well-braced mine shaft leads down into the darkness. So, well, let's try this. And... Okay. Yeah, we're in a different part of, yeah, we're not exactly in the same part of the le of, okay, and there's no area view, but basically we're, at roughly square 3H, whereas we went down at square 6 one. You gotta watch it. Okay, let's move. Okay. Okay, that would lead into other parts of the mines. If we continue, yeah, there's a mine shaft going back up there. But if we go down this tunnel here, we should find something at the end of the tunnel. You come upon two gnomes digging for copper at the end of this mine. As you approach, one turns and said, We know there's trouble above. Please leave us be. Um, okay, they're not fighting. I suppose we can leave them. Before you even turn to go, the gnome who spoke is already back at work.
Well, I'm glad they're okay. Although it would be nice if they were helping. Okay, we'll want to remember about that tunnel going back up. I don't think we're going to go that way quite yet. Instead, I think we'll explore some more going this way. I kind of sort of know where I'm going, but I would be totally lost if I weren't referring to the clue book map. A cold draft blows through the archway to the east. What's that smell? Eladan asked. Whatever it is, it smells like it's rotting. And there should be something down that way. A hole roughly eight feet square has been broken out of the north wall here. Before you have a chance to investigate, huge man-like creatures attack... At, attacks the party? Ah, somebody forgot about non-verb agreement from English class. Oh, and that's a different icon for Umber Hulks. Oh, they're... You know, the portrait was fairly close to what we've seen in some of the earlier games, but the combat icon is very different. And if you remember from the Mines and Secret of the Silver Blades, they can confuse characters. So we'll want to remember to at least keep our cleric unconfused so we can cast Dispel Magic on her. Uh, come on. See what we got here. Okay, just just the two. There aren't that many safe places to rest in this level. Lost in Blue, you might want to take a look at these Umber Hulk icons. They're different from the ones that we've had in previous games. Instead of big, ugly brown guys, they're big, ugly blue guys. Mm. Uh, I think Lost in Blue is sleepy. Actually, I'm sleepy myself, so... should work. Oh, there's another one down there. Okay. Wonder why I couldn't see it before. Well, I guess we'll have to finish up this Umber Hulk battle off camera and continue exploring the fire mines in the next episode. See you then.